I'm James Cairns, I'm lead engineer at Rotron Power Limited. So we've got quite a big design department within Rotron. There's actually nine engineers in total, from the technical director, the lead engineer, myself, and then seven other engineers, which is made up of senior engineers through to interns from university. So we've got a great spread of technical knowledge within the department. We've got a really good relationship between the design team and the manufacturing department. What's great about Rotron and Gylo Industries Group is that we've got everything on site. We've got CNC facilities in-house to actually machine the parts. We've got our own in-house build areas uh, and we've got test department too. We liaise closely with the CNC department to make sure that the parts we're designing can be efficiently manufactured and made to the best quality that we can get them. Uh, we also work very closely with the build team on the first builds to make sure that we pick up any snagging items that there might be. And then the test department will typically go and spend a day with them on first build just to make sure that the engine's performing as expected. The design DNA of Gylo Industries is really innovation and challenging convention. Um, our motto in Rotron is smaller, lighter, further. So really what we do is we try and push the design limits, making the product as compact as can be, as lightweight as can be, because the applications demand lightweight, high power uh, in order to succeed and have the maximum payload capability. The creative element of being in an engineer is being able to think about a product in your mind and really innovate something. You design it then on screen and then finally you actually see it being built and you end up with a product that's in front of you. And that's just fantastic. In development at the moment, we have a very exciting quad rotor engine, which is being used for the Martin aircraft jetpack. Um, it's a very exciting new development for us. We've never done a quad rotor engine before and it's really pushing the envelope of our experience and our knowledge um, and it's very exciting seeing that going through the test at the moment.